Welcome back, everybody, to In Shrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and I have finally, after, oh, gosh, at least two straight hours, if not longer, in real time, of grinding, found the legendary Ritual Tempest Wand. And I was um, in such a rhythm of going to deep cut, then this location, then this location, then this location, uh, then up here, and then back down to here, snatching the uh, the loot out of the, the gold coffin down below and then reloading the game before the enemies could get to me. I did that countless times. I mean, I, <laughs> my eyes were glazing over. And, and right towards the end of that process, I, at this location here, I think it was, but I'm not 100% sure, I finally found the legendary one. And like a numbskull, I didn't record it. So you guys are just going to have to trust me that I did find that. And um, it just took a long time uh, to show you, excuse me, the result of um, all that farming. Look how many full stacks of runes that we have there out of all the stuff I melted down. And we've got uh, all of these legendary weapons that I'm hanging on to uh, at the moment here that we picked up. And we've got gobs and gobs of extra, you know, uh, high-end armor. The, this is all tanky tank stuff here. Uh, this is all magey mage stuff here. Extra things that we found. And this is all um, rangey range stuff here. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it uh, it was quite the quite the deal, man. I was just like, I I really was. My eyes were glazing over, and I was just about ready to quit for the night, and and then it popped, and it's like, damn it, I forgot to record myself getting it. But uh, anyways, it is what it is. Okay, so we are fully outfitted now uh, for the um, Highlands Hollow Halls, the Nomad Highland Hollow Halls, which is what we're gonna work on next. You'll notice too that I did decide that I'm going to go ahead and use an actual shield, at least in there, uh, just because I've noticed, you know, that my, my magic shield, they can break that fairly soon, and then, you know, then I start taking major damage. And so, yeah, we're going to go with a real shield, at least for running in the hollow halls, as opposed to the uh, to the warts. Um, other than that, I'm, you know, I'm fully outfitted with elder gear. Now, I'm going to say something, and I want you to listen to me, okay? <laughs> I know... I know, I'm aware that most people are suggesting and recommending that I should be wearing a, like a paladin chest and trousers at least um, for health and relying upon the helmet and the gloves for damage and the boots are kind of, you know, doesn't really matter as much. I've been told that in the comments and I've also seen other people, uh, you know, watched other people uh, run the hollowed halls as a mage build. Um, you know, with that setup, I don't disagree with that setup. I think it is effective. However, I want to see if I can make this work as a full blown mage, uh, with everything mage gear wise. Well, I guess ex with the exception of the shield, I suppose. And if it doesn't work, if we go in there and we're just dying horribly left and right, you know, then I'll switch, but I want to give it a try. So I'm not, I'm not saying I don't agree that, with that setup. I'm just saying then I want to try this as w with full mage gear first and see how it works. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there so I don't get comments later said, well, you should have been using the paladin gear. Yeah, okay, whatever. Maybe you're right, but we're going to, you know, we're going to <laughs> we're going to try the mage gear first. Uh, okay, so we got that cleared up. Now, um, let's see. We uh what do we got? Uh, I guess I I got some extra stuff here. I the next thing we want to do as far as the base build goes, I mean, we still have a ton of stuff to do is you know, we started working on the outside of the house and we put some sidewalk stuff down and I, you know, I, I got all, I still have to work on, you know, getting the foundation walls and that sort of thing fixed. Um, but I think what we'll do for that is let's work on getting the, this corner of the house repaired and the roof repaired. So let's run up there and kind of see what's going on with that. Um, yeah, so this whole corner here, I want to, to fix up and we also have, all right, what is, uh, hold on. Let's, let's go up here. So this is just like a little extra loft up here. And then also one here too. Doesn't really seem to be serving any, 
any purpose. So I might, um, yeah, I don't know. I might remove this. Uh, we'll keep this loft hit in here and, you know, of course, repair the floor and all that. But I might remove this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll leave it there for the moment. So let's go downstairs and get uh, the blocks that we're going to need to work with this. We're going to need some roof brick blocks. Uh, was, and we're, yeah, we're probably going to have to make more of those too. Uh, the slime, by the way, that you can get out of the hollow halls, if you turn it into purified slime, as soon as you do that, it opens up the ability to make a green glowing block. Uh, which I don't, you know, I don't know if we'll do anything with that at this point or not, but uh, that's that's what that does. Uh, let's grab our scaffolding in case we need it. We're gonna want refined wood blocks and, of course, half timbered blocks, and our hammer. I'm gonna put uh, some of this other stuff away here. And I went up and and I went and dug some flower soil up uh, from the church. We're gonna be using that later on too. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to put that up in here because that's kind of more of a building item, uh, you know, to make some flower beds along the the edge of the house when that when the time comes to do that. Now, do I have any more bricks in here? I do. OK, because we're going to need to make some more. Um, this is the that block I was talking about, you know, that you use the purified slime for. So it's a green luminescent block. It's just the green version of the blue one. Kind of cool, actually. Oh, you know what? We ought to be looking at maybe using some palm wood, too. Let's make some of those. Refined. I'm, I've just, I've never been really impressed with the sandstone blocks. I, I, I think they all look kind of like crap. <laughs> um, all right. So anyway, what are we doing? We're going to make some, some more roof tile blocks. All right. Well, that's as many as we can make at the moment until I go get some more clay now. Let's put you down here. And we'll go up to the corner over here and... Yeah, that, got, that needs to be fixed too, but uh, I want to focus on this corner right now. So the first thing to do is to remove the floor blocks with the rubble on it. And we're on four meter. Okay, so what we want to do here is that and that. Yeah, it was a little too far over. Let's try that again. Pull it back. Oh, take snapping off, okay. Nope. Try it again. Oh shit. I I guess we don't we don't get a hundred percent of our stuff back when we take those down. Um for some reason I was thinking we did, but I guess we don't. Let's just make a bunch more of those. <clears throat> Do I have more wood planks going on in here? Uh, I don't. Okay, we should probably do that. Um, I'm, I guess I'm completely out of clay. Hmm. All right, I'll have to go dig some more of that. Let's go put a stack of these in here. Okay. Okay, so I just need to make sure this <clears throat> isn't taking the wall out. I just want it to take the floor out. How about that? No! Damn it, I hate that. Now we might have screwed up our undos. No, we didn't. Okay, phew, that was close. Alright, let's try it here. Now remove that. It did it again. No! God damn it! 
just remove that. This is so frustrating. Uh, only remove... Nope, not that. It's... <laughs> this is not working out the way it's supposed to. Uh, okay, put it right there. Nope, still not working. How about right there? Nope, still not working. What the fuck, man? I don't usually have this much trouble with this. It's not re it's removing everything but the block that I want it to. I am like thoroughly confused. I've never had this much trouble with this before. This is this is baffling. I, I I'm I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. I just don't know what it is. problem though is you only have a limited number of undoes so if you go too far then you can't undo all the way back to where you started from which is what happened here and then it really screws you up all right we need to sleep all right, so, um, <sighs> bring this back. No, nope, it's taking too much out. Okay, let's try it from... That should only be going back. Well, okay. Let me go look and see what's going on outside, because it appears like it's going back three blocks deep, but it should only be going back two blocks deep. It's kind of weird. Okay, let's go ahead and then just go to the single block. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted to do. Doesn't mess that up out there. All right, now we'll do the same thing on this side. And can we go back? Yeah, we should be able to go back one more. I think this is supposed to be here. I probably added that myself when I was trying to get this damn thing to work right. Okay, so um, is this beam here supposed to be there? Uh, 
Let's go outside again and take a look-see. Yep. I don't think it is. I probably also added that. What I do think we need is... Yeah, let's go get some roughly cut stone block. Uh, whoop. That is here. Change this to single block. And... That looks correct. Because this does overhang. Alright, I think we're okay now to put in the first floor. Um, yeah, let's just stick with refined wood block for now. We might play around with um, the palm wood flooring later. Uh, okay, so go here, go down to four meter, go to here. Now, that sh should... No, that's not quite all the way over far enough. How about there? All right, that looks correct from up here. Let's just check it from down below. I think we're good. Okay. Good deal. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is... Is it possible to... Put you in there. Remove you. Okay, that worked. That didn't give me any grief. And then reset the clean piece. I think that worked okay. Now, let's move down here. That looks good. And we'll put this piece here. That looks good. I think what we'll need to do here is... Yeah, it's not going to let us... What if we do that and then remove it? No. Okay, so let's try the foundation again. Put that in. Right-click to remove it. There we go. We just need to make a little bit of a gap. We don't have to remove the whole entire piece in order to then put this in and have it replace everything. Like that. Beautiful. All right, let's put you here. We'll worry about the bathroom floor later. And if we just, um, cut one little hole there. I'm going to have to go outside and see what that looks like outside. Um, let's go with two meter on this corner here. OK, 
can we go around to here? Well, that looks okay. Let's go here and just cut one piece out of there and then back down to two meter. And we should be able to pop this in right. Uh, I'm having trouble seeing again. Camera angles and lighting. I still don't think we got this final corner here. So we're just going to do it. We do if we do that and that we went down too far on the stone. You can tell a game has good lighting when the sunlight in the game blinds you just as bad as it does in real life. You know? <laughs> okay. Now, let's go back to 2 meter. Let's go back to uh, refined wood. And then we should be able to just slide this right in there. And I think that fixes it. If that overlapped a little bit, I don't think that's going to be a problem, and it doesn't look like it did anyway. Okay, so we got the floor fixed. My goodness. I mean, shit, we're like 22 minutes into this recording, and I just fixed the floor only. <laughs> oh, my God, this takes so long. Okay, so let's let's see if we can at least get the wall fixed. And, um, yeah, let's at least get this wall fixed. I, I wanted to maybe get started on hollow halls in this episode. So if we're going to do that, we need to, we can't spend too much time, more time on this. But what we'll do is we'll go there and then remove and put it back. I'm just not sure if that's as high as we want to go with that. They also have this beam here going across. And that kind of looks to me like it might be shroud wood, but I'm not sure. All right, tell you what, I'm not going to I'm not going to save that yet. What I want to do is Just gotta clear the crap out of there. The there we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Okay, let's Um, yeah, I think I want to remove, I don't want ivy on the inside. Don't mind it on the outside, but I don't want it on the inside. I think that clears all the rubble, you know, ruined blocks away from this side. Just remove that. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, yeah, I think that gets rid of all the rubble blocks. Now, let's just patch this in from down here. Okay, I think that's okay. Now, this... I think this was our window here. And we, but we still have some ivy hanging out. If I fill this back in, will the ivy... Yeah, it comes all the way... Well, I don't know. Maybe having a little bit of ivy in the windowsill is not that big of a deal. I don't think those blocks are correct. Let's pull, take those back out. All right. Now, if we build this back up here. It gets us our window sill back. Or our window, rather. And then we want the top of the wall... Comes to here. At least, um, at least it does on this side. It looks to me like it's one higher over here. Ouch. Here. Why am I fighting this? We have a scaffolding. Always got to do things the hard way. Oops, wrong side. Okay. So that frames in our corner. We might, uh, well, it looks like we got the double roof thing going on anyway. Except for that we're going to have to put a, uh, no, we don't actually have to put a corner piece in here. So we'll be fine with that. Okay, let's fill that in. And we'll, we'll, we'll get this all filled in here. Um, we still have a block that's doing the ivy thing. Uh, maybe that was it. Nope. Well, that's weird because I just put those blocks in there. I don't know why that's happening then. Unless, okay, hold on. Maybe it's, maybe these were some of the original blocks. What if we go to here now and go to here? There. Okay, that removes the ivy. Since we're on this one, let's just flip it around and... I 
think. I think that's right. No, it's not. Be well, is it? Yeah, maybe it is. I believe that was correct. Okay. Very good. Too far on that corner did we all right good so we got that fixed now um we're gonna need to do some work on this part of the roof did i not oh never mind sorry it doesn't show up until you get onto the roof, the roof piece. Well, I guess I'm not going to really get up there from there. <laughs> okay, we'll go through the house. Okay, so yeah, we've got to go down to here for that to show up. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to place this in there and then remove it and then place it down again. And that should, at least for that section, remove all the crap out of there. Okay, let's go up here. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, so that fixes the outside part of that. I might leave that hole there so we can use it as an access for the moment. Okay, now let's put you... Doing it again. You're removing what I don't want you to remove. Okay, here. Undo all that. Nope. Run, remove this. Let's try it from this angle. Piss me off. Okay. Uh, what? We're just gonna have to trim this this one out um, because it's it's just fight me again, and I don't want my blood pressure to go up so high. You know, uh, I really don't. So, what we're gonna do is grab you. Okay, so that fixes that fixes that. Uh, I think this one piece there needs to go away, and I think all we have to do now is go uh, back down to roof pieces. Maybe go two meter roof pieces this time. And no, that was too high. Go down one. Uh, there. 
I think that's just what the doctor ordered. We have one little funky thing going on right here, though. Maybe we... Uh, well, okay. Here, do this. Remove that. Move that. Now, jump... Oh! God damn it. I thought I was going to jump down on top of that Eve, but I was just a little too far back. What if we get back up here? Got the sun in my eyes again. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Um, up here. See, I'm glad I didn't patch that hole. Now, let's carefully go on to this side. There we go. Now we can kind of see what's going on. Well, until the camera decides to zoom in there. So if we just... Um, that might be easier to deal with from the inside, but let's go back to here. And down to two meter roof pieces and move out as far this way as we can go without falling off the edge of the roof. Okay, and then this piece here. Okay, I think what we need to do is this. Mm, can't quite get over there. What I'm going to do then is we're gonna make ourselves a little temporary catwalk. Now go back to here and slide you right there. I think that does it. I believe that fixes it. All right. Cool. Um, now all we need to do is just fill in this piece. So let's go back to two meter. Make sure we're on half timbered. And go to these guys here. not to step too far out. That looks okay up there. Yep. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And now let's just go back to here. Don't think there's supposed to be a window there. So let's just patch this in and patch this in and patch this in and that should do it. Ow. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Again, I, I, I say this every time. <laughs> I know I do. You guys are probably going to 
think I'm a broken record, but I'm surprised how long it takes to do this. And part of it, part of it's, you know, I'm still trying to figure this out. You know what? I think I need to trim that soffit back a block. Um, so part of it's still just me trying to figure things out too, of course, but it's just, you know, the game, the building in this game is so good that it's, it can be more complex than it first appears, if that makes sense. And then, so trying to figure out exactly what it's trying to do contributes to how long these things take. That looks good. That looks good. I think we got it. Whew, okay, let's um let's just get uh, rid of our little catwalk that we set up here. Just that piece, and that piece, and that piece, and that piece. There we go. That looks great. Nice and clean and repaired. It only took us three years to do it, but we got it done. Oh, we got to put a windowsill in there, don't we? Okay, I think we were using the windows that you make... Um... I said window sill. I just mean a window. I'm just using the basic ones for now, you know, as we pr repair the structure of the house. And then we might get a little fancier later. Is that too narrow? One, two. No, I don't think so. All right. Oh, it's too high. That's why it looks so narrow. Eh, I see. Okay. It just, it didn't quite look right to me. And that's why. There we go. How's that, huh? Oh, we still have this beam business here. Um, is that half timbered block or is that shroud wood? Let's go to four meter and go to here. Yeah, I think that's shroud wood. I believe it is. Let's sleep. Hmm. It might also be. It also might be a refined wood block, though, too. Switch to refined wood. No. Not refined wood. Let's try shroud wood. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's shroud wood. Okay. That's a that's a rift piece. There, that should be fine. Um, we do need to f fix this though too. There's a yeah, there's a couple of spots that we still have to fill in there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, guys, um, we are 45 minutes into this recording, and. I generally don't edit out the building process because some of you like to watch all of that, you know, and like to kind of hear my thought processes and stuff. And I totally get that, which means that this is already a 45 minute episode. And I think it's just really too, we're too far into it to get started with any adventuring. 
So, you know, now that I've kind of made that determination, let's at least fix the roof here before we wrap things up. And then then we'll go hit uh, the Nomad Highlands hollow halls uh, in the next episode. Okay, let's go back to two meter roof. And we should just have to do that and that. One little piece right here. There we go. All right. I, I'm going to dismantle this. At least for now. And maybe what we'll do is we'll put a, a proper roof in, uh, or a proper ceiling slash floor. If we decide that I want, if I decide I want an actual loft or whatever up there, I, but you know what they had there looked like crap. So I don't want that regardless. Okay. Let's also fix this beam here. Good. Okay. So this end of the house is repaired. The roof is repaired, the walls repaired, the floor is repaired, and it's looking good in the neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> I think we have um, some blocks here that need to be removed. I was going to say, what in the world's going on with all that? Yeah, that one doesn't quite want to be removed, so... We're just gonna have to dismantle that, and we can, you know, we can put another nightstand down there later. This will end up being somebody's bedroom. It looks like we also have a missing table or stand there with that floating candle. But again, when we get into the, you know, the decoration mode of the uh, of the series, you know, we'll worry about that stuff. Right now, again, I'm just I want to get the the house repaired, structurally repaired. Okay, so this will this will be coming up in the next uh, you know the next episode or next building ep part of the episode or whatever uh, to get the the back end of the house fixed up and uh, I it doesn't look like at least not from the inside that there's anything that needs to be repaired on this end of the house up above uh, we have to re repair the chimney though and then we have all of this down here that we'll have to deal with as well. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode for the Nomad Highlands. All the halls. Should be fun.